Hi, my name is Tita Irvin from ibisdame.com and today I'd like to show you how to change the background color of your images very easily. I created this timeline image and as you can see the background color of my image flows beautifully into the image that I uploaded when I created the timeline. When I started to do that, as you can see, here is my timeline background. The background of the image is white and when I put the two together it just looks horrible. So I want to show you how to change this background to match this background. To change the image I use the free software program that allows you to manipulate images. It is called GIMP and you can get it at www.gimp.org. GIMP is spelled as G-I-M-P. So once I opened the GIMP on my computer, I access the uh, image that I wanted to manipulate. And as you can see, the image is here. It has white background and this is what we're going to change. So to do so, we will uh, click on uh, the Bucket Fill tool in the toolbox that comes open when you open the GIMP. So I just click on that and it opened up a box here and the, here we are going to do some changes. So first we want to fill the background so we'll click on these uh, two icons which is the, are the foreground and background colors. And I open them up and I just paste in the color that I want it and click OK and as you can see it changed it to the purple and I will do the same here and change it to the purple. Then I clicked on the background color fill and I also clicked fill similar colors. Once again I clicked on the bucket tool, brought it to my picture and as soon as I clicked it changed the background of the image to the color I want it. Now I will just save the image and then I will use Microsoft Paint to create the ha headline or timeline background. When you open the paint you'll get a screen that looks something like this. So first what I wanted to do is I wanted to edit my colors and I inputted the codes for my colors for my color And as you can see again, I got the purple color that I wanted. I added it to custom colors, clicked OK. And here you see the color change to purple. So once again, I use the bucket fill tool. I clicked on that, clicked on my screen and the whole screen changed uh, to purple. Now what I want to do is I want to get the exact size of the timeline that we need which is 851 by 315. Once we have that we'll click on crop and here you have your timeline background sized properly and we'll ju I'll just uh, paste my image that I created and just enlarge it to fit the timeline.
I wanted to move it over. I didn't want it so large on my timeline. And here you have it. You can now save your timeline. I usually save it as uh, JPEG. And you can save it. Yes. And uh, here you have it. You can then manipulate the uh, timeline. Uh, you can add um, text uh, into it. You can do whatever really you want with it, either in paint, paint or in another program. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and uh, you have learned that to change the background of the images is really, really simple. So best of luck in your projects.